Hello, Kenny Cakes fans. Tonight, I have something special in store for you. We're getting ready to go ahead and start making our cilantro lime, cilantro lime chicken quarters, Mexican street corn, and Spanish rice. Um, I really hope that everybody enjoys this video. And I really hope that it doesn't take longer than 45 minutes for me to make this. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm not going to delay the time. I've already prepared my chicken. I'll tell you what I did to season it. Um, if you've already been watching my previous videos, you will know that I have a special house seasoning that I use. I've showed you all the ingredients. It consists of garlic powder, paprika, sea salt, and fresh ground black pepper. So I already seasoned the chicken with that and then we also added smoked paprika and cumin. So I'm going to get ready and pull that out of the refrigerator. I seasoned that a little bit before so I wouldn't have to waste um, much time with uh, showing you how I seasoned that. But I'll tell you that as I um, place the chicken in the pan. So what I did is when I got off work, I went ahead and I seasoned the chicken in the marinade and I placed it in the refrigerator. I have a large pan that's, pan that's able to be transferred um, to the oven. I preheated my oven on 375 and we're going to go ahead and sear these leg quarters on the stove now. I want you to see these before I place them in the oven. This is what it looks like. I seasoned them and I placed them in a pan and wrapped it in um, foil just so the marinade could kind of uh, get into the chicken and, and marinate before I uh, put it on the stove. Another thing is I'm using chicken leg quarters. These may take a little while longer to cook in the oven. So I'm going to try to cook them as long as I can on top of the stove so it doesn't allow a whole bunch of time in the oven before I create this dish and get it on the plate. So we're going to place the chicken in my preheated skillet. We want to make sure that we have a skillet that's big enough for the leg quarters because they're pretty big. And um, I don't really want the meat to touch that much because it takes longer to cook. But I'm also going to pour the rest of my marinade in the pan. I'm going to turn my pan on to about a 7. Because we're going to let those get nice and brown on one side. I don't want to flip them over. Because if I flip them over, it's going to take the seasoning that I put on my chicken um, off of the side with the skin. So I'm going to let them cook on that one side until I think that they're nice and ready to go in the oven. So while the chicken is cooking, I'm going to tell you what I put in my seasoning for that. I use paprika, ground cumin, sea salt, black pepper, and you can really gauge that um, how you really need to because it depends on what um, amount of portions that you're making. So I'm going to say you're safe to use about two tablespoons of the cumin, two tablespoons of the paprika, about a half a teaspoon of salt, um, about a teaspoon of black pepper, and that should be enough. Oh, I also used, I'm sorry, let me go back. I also used a lime. I took a lime, I cut it in half, and I squeezed the juice, which equaled about one lime, I think, equal to about two tablespoons. So I used two limes, so that's about four tablespoons. I also put that in my mixture. And that's going to bring our, give us a nice little flavor 
for our chicken. This meal is going to be so good. I swear I have been thinking about this meal all day. So I pray that it turns out the way that I expect it to. In the pot here in the back of the stove, I have some water boiling. I have my Spanish rice that I bought in a box. But you can also make this homemade. I won't touch on that so much right now. But it's really, really easy to do right from some regular cooked rice. Some, a diced can of tomatoes and some seasonings. But we're going to go ahead and add the um, rice to our boiling water. Now you can use the ingredients on the back of the box. This is what I used. I used the Zatarain Spanish rice. You can use the ingredients on the back of the um, box. And I just doubled it. So it calls for one, half of, one and a half cups of water. I used three cups of water. We're going to go ahead and place this in the boiling water. And normally I add salt to my water, but being that I'm quite sure we have enough sodium in this already, I didn't add any salt to the water. Alright, I'm going to have to get my scissors because this is a little tough to open. So we're just going to add the rice to our already boiling water. Once again, I said these are kind of hard to open, so have some scissors on hand just in case. We're going to go ahead and stir the rice. And we're going to let that boil until it becomes, I mean, we're going to let that cook until it comes to a boil. And once it starts boiling, we're going to cover it up and we're going to cut it down on simmer. For about 25 minutes. And since I had the water already boiling, it shouldn't take long for that to come to a boil. Alright, my chicken is cooking really good. I'm going to turn that down just a tad. Because I don't want to overcook that side. Okay, so I don't know if I said it in the beginning, but we are going to be cooking cilantro lime chicken quarters, Spanish rice, and then I'm going to make some Mexican street corn. Now with the street corn, you can add so many different variations. But I happen to have some family down over the weekend and I cook for them. I made the street corn with a mayonnaise and sour cream sauce. And we added some gorgonzola cheese. It was absolutely finger looking good. Sorry, Kentucky Fried Chicken, not trying to steal, <laughs> steal anything from you. But it was absolutely delicious. Hi, Richard. Are you making this tonight, Richard? Awesome. I hope to see something that you're making posted on Facebook. My chicken is popping, so I'm going to check that. But I made this dish for my family over the weekend. And I think we've eaten corn probably every day of the week it was absolutely that good so hopefully this turns out good tonight and you guys can enjoy this with your family i know that the summer is coming to an end so i try to modify this recipe so that you don't have to cook it outside so what i'm going to do is i'm not going to cook my corn on the grill which i did over the weekend i'm going to pan fry the corn on the cob so that we could do this all year round so i'm just going to clean up my mess here Oh, I can smell everything coming together. And we're going to get ready and prepare our corn to be fried. I'm going to turn on my skillet. Now, I added a little bit. I'm going to say about a half a tablespoon of olive oil to my pan. Just to make sure that the corn doesn't stick. Because I'm going to put butter on each um, cob that I have. I'm just going to take a stick of butter and we're going to go up and down the cob. And we're going to fry the cob in the pan. But before I do that, I just want to check on my chicken. And this smells absolutely wonderful. 
I know I got started a little late tonight, and I thank you to everybody that inboxed me and messaged me asking me what was going on because that just lets me know that you guys are really in tune to what Kenny Cakes is doing, and I really appreciate it. I don't know if you can hear the music that's going on in the background, but I'm playing my sister Chantel Hawkins' Pandora Station. Yes, yeah, she has a Pandora Station. So if you need some nice calming music, it's a mixture of jazz and gospel with her and her husband, Pastor Terrence Hawkins. That's what's playing in the background. Okay, so it looks like our rice is coming to a boil. I'm going to get ready and it looks like it soaked up the rice. Ladies and gentlemen, when you're cooking, you have to be able to tell what looks good and what looks bad. My rice right now, I'm going to show you what's, what's taking place. There's no water in my pot because I had the water boiling before I actually added the rice so some of the water boiled down. We're going to add some more water and bring that back to a boil. You just have to be able to tell what's going on with your food. So what I'm doing is adding about three-fourths of a cup of water back to my rice and we're going to bring that back to a boil. I'm going to stir that up. That looks better. So yeah, we're going to bring that back to a boil. And once again, I'm doing these recipes live. I've never cooked this meal. So everything that I'm doing, I'm learning as I'm teaching you guys. And I know that a lot of people learn from other people's mistakes. So if there's anything that I see that I'm not doing right, I'm going to tell you sort of help you when you're cooking. Okay, so our grease is warm for our corn. We're going to go ahead and add butter to our corn on the cob. I'm going to take a whole stick of salted butter. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the corn and I'm just going to go up and down the sides evenly with the butter and once I do that I'm just going to place it in my hot skillet turning my corn back up on about a seven this corn only needs to cook for about ten minutes hi Lisa, hi Laverne, hi Bonita Oh, look, my apostle's watching. Hi, Apostle James Sutter. I really, really, really appreciate your support. That is awesome. So I'm just going to place my buttered corn. I'm going to put about four ears of corn in the pan. And we're going to cook this, like I said, for about 10 minutes. But what I'm going to do is rotate it about every three minutes so it gets to cook evenly. I love my City of Zion family. I swear they are the best supporters ever. Thank you all for tuning in. So we got everything sizzling. All right. So what I'm going to do again is show you my rice. Now, I added about three quarters of a cup of rice and it's still kind of dry so what I'm going to do is add about another cup of rice because we don't want the rice dry because we're going to have to cover it and let it simmer for a while so that it's all the way cooked so what I'm going to do is add another cup of rice and we're going to try that again excuse me another cup of water What we want to do with our corn is give it a nice brown color. We don't want to overcook it. A lot of times we overcook the corn and we end up with a soggy, soggy.
sunken type of corn. We want the corn to pop. So I don't want to overcook it. You want to make sure that you keep turning it. The corn does not have to cook for a long time. Hi, Nicola. All right. I'm going to stir up my rice just a little bit. Yes, that's better. I'm going to show you this rice once again once I add it the water so you can see the type of consistency that you're shooting for. So if you can see, there's juice over the top of the water. Hi, Bonita. Hi, Lakeisha Lemon. Hi, Eric. You want to have some juice in your rice. You don't want dry, flat, sticky rice. So we're going to bring that back to a boil. Once again, I'm going to keep Flipping my corn, and I think my chicken may be about ready to go in the oven. I wanted to let that cook, yes, on the stove. So what I'm going to do now with my chicken is I'm going to place this chicken. I already seasoned it. We're going to put this in the oven for about 10 minutes on 375. I have a mixture of honey and brown sugar. I'm going to... Throw that in the microwave for about 45 seconds after my chicken cooks for 10 minutes and we're going to baste the chicken with that. Alright, chicken is in the oven and we are frying this corn. I'm going to turn that over. Oh, that corn is looking absolutely beautiful. I hope everyone has had a good week. I know it's only Tuesday, but we can actually set the tone for our week. And I know a lot of people have been going through storms. We've been watching the things that's going on in Florida and Texas and everything. So... Just be grateful if you're in a warm home and you're able to even watch my video tonight. You have electricity, you have heat in your home, you have cable. Be thankful for those things. I know that I am because I'm, I wouldn't be able to come to you with Tasty Tuesdays if I lived in Florida or if I lived in um, some parts of Georgia right now. So I'm just counting up my blessings on tonight and I'm, I'm, I'm like... That just motivates me to live life and do the things that make you happy because you don't know when your life might take a turn and things might change. So enjoy life and be grateful for the things that you do have. Okay, so right now I'm just stirring up my brown sugar mixture. My corn is popping literally like we have popcorn. <laughs> I'm going to let the corn brown on another side and then we're going to remove it from the heat because we don't want it to overcook but yet we still want a nice brown coating on it. Right now I'm going to turn my rice all the way down to about a two and we're going to cover that and let it simmer. Like I said, I have a surprise in store for the people that follow me on Kitty Cakes, I didn't post what the surprise is. Hi, Latanya. Hi, Selena. Hi, Danny. Hi, Michelle. Thank you all for tuning in. You guys have no idea how much I appreciate this because some days I'm tired. I don't want to get on here and, I mean, I'm so nervous before I come before you guys. But knowing that you guys are anticipating this and that you're looking forward to this, it encourages me so much. And I thank you. So please like and share. Look at my cousin Delvin from Miami. I'm so happy that you're safe, Delvin. I'm so happy the storm wasn't what they thought it was going to be. But I thank you all for tuning in and supporting me because this is what keeps me going. And this is what's going to make me successful. My whole passion is to help you. I know there's a lot of people that don't cook or can't cook or don't want to cook. And hopefully I can make some meals that are appealing to you that make you want to get in the kitchen and cook for your family. Family is so important. Sitting down at the dinner table, having a good, nice, wholesome meal is so important. So I, I really appreciate you guys. 
All right, I'm just going to grab a top to cover my rice and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to stir this rice up one more time and we're just going to cover it up. And once the rice is, once again, I'm adding another third of a cup because for some reason, this rice doesn't want to maintain its moisture. But we're going to cover that. I'm going to turn it all the way down on low and let that cook because after that rice is done, I'm going to add a can of diced chili peppers. Excuse me, a can of diced tomatoes. But what I use is the chili flavor because we have cumin, lime, and cilantro. All those things go along with like the Mexican spicy hot flavor. So I want to add just a little bit of heat to my Spanish rice. Um, not too much because then my daughter won't eat it. But we're going to add this once the rice is done. Okay, ooh, look at that corn. See, people think you can only brown your corn on a grill. Not so. You can do that right in the comfort of your own kitchen. You just want to be careful not to overcook it. It's browning perfectly. Can you see that? So I turned that corn down just a little bit because I didn't want to have popcorn. And while the corn is finishing up cooking, we're going to go ahead and make our sauce for our street corn. Oh my goodness. This was one of the most flavorful sauces that I've ever tasted. Now, I know a lot of people don't like, like my husband doesn't like mayonnaise. He doesn't like sour cream. He rarely eats ranch dressing. But if you are not a believer, best believe when you <laughs> eat this sauce, you'll like sour cream and you'll like mayonnaise. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. Now I'm going to tell you how much I use, but I'm not going to use a measuring cup because I don't know if you had a big mama or mama in the kitchen cooking with you. It's so much easier just to take it and use it at eye level. But I'll tell you how much I suggest you use as I go along. First, we're going to add about a half a cup of mayonnaise. And so, to me, that would be about four heaping spoonfuls. So, I'm going to add, this is my heaping. We're going to add four of these to our bowl. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Now we're gonna add our sour cream. I have to get that from the refrigerator. So we're gonna add about, actually I would use about half of this. Hi Tanisha, hi James. I'm gonna use about half of this for the um, sour cream. And if you can't measure half, we're gonna say about four heaping spoonfuls. What I'm going to do next is get a fork and we're going to blend that all together. <coughs> but I don't want to forget about my corn. So we're going to rotate that again. Ooh, so, ooh, can you see that? Now, do you see how the corn is getting brown? And it's not that it's burning. It's just cooking really well. So, I'm turning my corn down because I think it's almost done. We're going to mix our mayonnaise and sour cream mixture. I'm going to add about a teaspoon 
of chili powder. This is going in our sauce for our corn. Awesome. I already pre-chopped garlic cloves. We're going to take about three garlic cloves and add them to our mixture. Now, what I did earlier was I added lime juice to my chicken. So I'm going to take that lime that I zested, and when I say zested, I took the lime, and I took my grater. Let's see if you can get a good picture of this. And I just rubbed it up against my grater. And now we have a zest. Now after I zested it, I'm going to take that line. I have a cutting board here. Hi, Jari. And I'm going to roll it up and down my cutting board so I can get the juice nice and, I mean the lime nice and juicy. I'm going to cut the lime in half. And then I'm just going to squeeze it into my sauce. I didn't squeeze the whole lime. I just squeezed it until it was about halfway. This is what my sauce is looking like right now. And this is going to be the sauce that we use for our corn. I'm getting ready to remove the sauce from the heat. I'm going to stir up my rice and cover it up again. Perfect, 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 perfect. And like I said, a lot of people don't like to stay in the kitchen while they're cooking. Some things you have to be able to, to just judge with common sense. So if you're making rice or you're making mashed potatoes or you're making something like that, you have to be able to know if this is dry or if it needs more juice. I added a probably, I, what did I add? I want to say about two more cups of water to my rice, more than what the directions call for. You have to be able to gauge that on your own, um, just by trial and error. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Roro. Okay, so I'm going to remove my corn from the heat, and I'm going to cover it. And that's just going to allow it to continue to steam. We have our sauce ready for our corn. And I'm going to place this and cover it and put it in the refrigerator because we know that we should not allow mayonnaise and sour cream to sit out and get room temperature. And while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and finish up our chicken. All right. I'm going to take the chicken out of the oven. I'm remembering to use my pot holder because sometimes I don't and so what I'm going to do right now with this chicken is I'm going to baste it with my mixture of honey and brown sugar. We've already seasoned it with all of our seasonings. So now we're going to add some honey and brown sugar. We're going to baste it with what looks probably like a paintbrush. I'm going to put that in the microwave for about 30 seconds. I'm going to take my little paintbrush here. When that comes out, we're going to paint our chicken with the honey and brown sugar. I'm going to add some lime, a little bit of cilantro. We're going to put that back in the oven for about 10 minutes. We're going to finish up the rest of this meal, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're really enjoying it. Hi, Karima. I'm looking forward to your live show tomorrow. Hey, Anton, I, I really appreciate all of the support. Jackson, you guys really represent when it comes to Kenny Cakes. You guys are awesome. I love you. I thank you. Um, I really hope that you guys take these recipes and cook them. You, you can't go wrong with Kenny Cakes. I'm, I'm serious. I am so passionate about my food. I'm so passionate about how it looks and how it tastes. If you follow these instructions and you look... Um, of my videos 
you can't go wrong with pleasing your family. They'll thank you for it, I promise. So my brown sugar and honey is done. Warming up. I got it into a nice liquid. And now we're just going to baste our leg quarters. Now I'm not going to go too hard because I don't want to rub off the seasoning that's already on them. Can you see what I'm doing, Facebook? And it's really easy to rub it off. And you don't want to do that. That defeats the purpose of seasoning your meat. So it's going to give it a nice, beautiful glaze when it's done. And I'm saying that <laughs> never have made this meal before. But I know it's going to give it a nice, beautiful glaze. All right, and I just pretty much emptied that bowl. I'm going to place this in water right away because otherwise you're going to have a hard time cleaning this. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to add some fresh lime wedges. I'm going to squeeze them just a little bit, but I don't want to take away from the beauty of the limes. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of lime juice and place them on my chicken. Oh, that's beautiful. We're gonna add a little bit. I already cut up some cilantro earlier. Thanks, Karima. Oh, I appreciate you so much. Hey, Anton. Cookbook coming out. Hi, Davina. Cookbook is getting ready to come out. There's gonna be so many things from Kenny Cakes that you guys will be able to purchase and use in your own home, own home. Believe me, we're working on that right now. I have some wonderful women of God. I have some wonderful women that are supporting me. Hi, Sharika, all the way from Arizona, um, supporting me and encouraging me to keep going and to keep going and to not give up and not get discouraged. So um, stay tuned for the things that Kenny Cakes is getting ready to bring to um, the community of Jackson. So we're going to add some cilantro. Oh, that's a pretty dish. I wish I could just take a picture of that now. That's absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to use all my cilantro because we're going to garnish our uh, plate with it and use a little bit for our corn. But I want to show you what this chicken looks like before I placed it back in the oven for about 10 more minutes. Can you see that? Absolutely love it. It smells so delightful. There's nothing more than... Um, so I'm going to place that in the oven for about... 10 more minutes, I'm going to set my timer so I don't forget. And while that's cooking, we're going to go ahead and wrap up our Spanish rice. So, like I said, with this rice, you can make this homemade and not have the added preservatives and sodium. Um, let me see who that is. Hi, guys. Oh, I just love you guys so much. Um, if you just made this from home, I love using jasmine rice. You could use some jasmine rice, cook that up to the way that you like it. Add your, um, hold on, let me make sure I give you all the right seasonings. You could add your tomatoes, your onions, whatever you choose to. You don't have to use the box mixture. I only do, did this to save time, but... Making it homemade takes away from a lot of the nasty ingredients that they add in our food that affect our um, bodies. So if you have the time to make these things wholesome, do that. And as a matter of fact, I think that I'm going to um, bring back this recipe without the box rice and show you guys how to make the Spanish rice um, from scratch. But since we do have our box rice, I already have my diced tomatoes, chili tomatoes, and we're going to add that to our rice. Now it's already flavored with the garlic and cumin and all kind of things that's just going to bring our whole recipe together. 
I got some rice hanging off here and I just want to get that off the stove. So, we're going to stir this up. And I'm going to show you how this looks once it's done. Oh, that smells so divine. Oh, yes, that's beautiful. So I'm going to show you how this looks. And while we're finishing up the rest of our meal, if you guys have any questions, anything, hi, Lisa, hi, Zayda, Diabion, oh, hi, Katina. If you guys have any questions in regards to what I'm doing, what uh, recipe I'm using, how much of this you need, how much of that you need, please feel free to ask. I'm really ready to answer some questions because we're going to wait for this chicken to cook. Um... Because once the chicken is done, then our whole meal will be prepared. So if you have any questions, I'm looking at my page. Please feel free to put it out there. Or if you have any suggestions, anything you think that, that I can do better. Because I really listen to my customers. Um, with the Kenny Cakes, I have people that say, oh, can you do the cake like this? Or can you do the cake like that? I'm up for suggestions for suggestions anything to please you and make your meal more appeasing and more tasteful for you that's what I'm here for so I am ready to talk to you while my chicken is cooking I have about seven more minutes anybody have anything they'd like to ask anything that you'd like to see me create Okay. Well, if you do decide that you'd um, like to ask me something, I'm here. What would be a good wine to pair with this meal? Karima, you would be the one to ask me that. Um, I will look that up, and in my next video, I will post that because I'm not really sure, Karima. I have chicken. I have starch. Two starches, as a matter of fact. So I'm not really good up on my wines and what pairs up with those. But I will let you know in my next video because I researched that just for you. Hey, Shayla, how are you? Um. Also, if you are looking to order Kenny Cakes, I am going to be running some specials here soon. So stay tuned for those. Stay tuned to the Kenny Cakes. I still had a um, special that I'm running tonight that I didn't tell anybody about because I wanted to surprise the person um, that supports me. But today, the person that has watched and shared the most videos is going to win a banana pudding cake. So I'll look back and if you are one of the ones that's, that's been supporting me from the first Kenny Cake show, and there has been many. It's going to be really, really, really hard to determine because I'm grateful. My first video, I think, almost had 2,000 views. And that that's astounding to me because I see a lot of videos of people cooking and I scroll over them. So the fact that you guys pay attention and you watch Kenny Cakes and then you inbox me and you tell me that you made it and that your family enjoyed it, that means a lot to me. So... Lisa, I get my ideas from Facebook. Um, sometimes I look at a lot of the recipes that people um, like and post and share. And I say, that might be something that's good for me to make. But most times it's just something that I have the taste for. Like I made the corn um, over the weekend and it was so phenomenal. I'm like, I have to share this with others. So it just depends. People I, at work, I, I talk to a lot of coworkers. And they tell me about some of the things they make for their family. And I just like to bring them home and share them. So, thank you. What would be a great low-carb meal? Do you cook zucchini? Well, Michelle, I just happen to have some zucchini here. And yes, I do. I love zucchini. And actually, I have that zucchini sitting now because I said I was going to make some zucchini bread. But I make the baked um, breaded zucchini which you're looking for low carb, so that wouldn't work for you. But a sautéed zucchini is always nice. You can sauté the zucchini. Um, I usually do it with squash and bacon and a little bit of olive oil. You can add Parmesan cheese or not. Zucchini, there's really no way of going wrong um, 
cook the zucchini. So if you want some zucchini recipes, I'll definitely look up some and make sure that we bring them here on Kenny Cakes. Hi, Lakita. Hi, Isis. I got you, Karima. I got you covered. So right now, we're going to go ahead and look at this chicken and see how it's coming along. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to get ready and plate this up. What I'm going to do is show you first how I do the Mexican street corn. So I'm going to grab a plate and we'll be right back. Okay, so with the corn, what I'm going to do... Now, when I cook this on the grill and I buy the whole corn in the husk, it has a little handle on the end. And that's what I usually use to dip the corn. But since I don't have that, I'm going to rinse off my tongs and we're going to use that. Hey, Cousin Idell. Hi, Felicia. You know what, Facebook? I just want to reiterate, Kenny Cakes is nothing without you. I can't go any further than you guys um, uh, take me and share my videos. I really, really, really appreciate it because this is something, like I said, if you have something that you love and that you're passionate about, sometimes we can spend so much time promoting other people's vision and we forget about the vision that God has given us for ourselves. So if you have a vision and you have a passion and something that God has placed in your heart, don't give up on yourself. Push yourself. Do what makes you happy because life is so short and we don't know when these things might be taken away from us. And it will be really awful to be said that I never did anything that I was passionate about or that I desired because I worked my nine to five every day and I, I, I did everything making everybody else rich. I did everything making everybody else happy. Do what makes you happy. This is what makes me happy. Even if I only had one viewer, I would be happy because this is what I enjoy doing. I enjoy cooking. I enjoy eating with my family sitting around the table. So if this is if you have something that makes you happy, push through it. You are more than able. You are more than able. So with that being said, I'm done preaching. We're gonna take a piece of our corn. I'm gonna take the smaller piece. But do you see how that's brown? Oh, that is just so beautiful. Food is so beautiful to me. And it's just steaming nicely. So what I'm going to do, I wash my little brush. We're going to go ahead and grab our sauce out of the refrigerator. Now it's nice and cold. Ooh, sounds like our chicken is done as well. Okay. Taking my sauce that I made earlier. Hey, LeBron, thank you for tuning in. And we're just going to dab this over our corn. And with the corn, you can use whatever toppings you like. And one day, you know what, this meal was, this corn is so good, I'm just going to dedicate one show to the Mexican street corn. Shouts out to whoever came up with this recipe. Corn is so sweet and so good in its own, but when you start to add toppings and you start to add different mixtures um, and varieties to the corn, it, it, it just, it, it, it's just all done. So, I added my mayonnaise sour cream chili powder sauce mixture to the corn i think i want to add just a little more all right it's always nice because usually when i make my first plate my husband is the first one to eat and i really appreciate my husband for just being patient with me and keeping my daughter together while i try to bring these meals to you guys 
So what I decided to use is gorgonzola cheese. So we're going to sprinkle that. I'm just going to use my fingers. We're going to sprinkle that over our corn. Once again, if you didn't if you've enjoyed the music, that is Chantel Hawkins Pandora Station. And it's absolutely phenomenal. She is a wonderful songstress and that music it's so soothing. So, we've added our gorgonzola cheese. Now, I'm going to add just a sprinkle of chili powder. A sprinkle of paprika. Paprika, it just rolls off your tongue. It just makes me feel like I'm really just doing something serious, even though I may not be. <laughs> We're going to add a little bit of cilantro. Make sure that they on top just so it's nice and pretty. I'm going to take one of my lines, squeeze it over the top of my corn, and our corn, ladies and gentlemen, is ready to eat. So now, we're going to add our rice because our rice is done. I'm going to try to find my cup. There we go. So, what I'm going to do for decoration purposes is I'm going to add, hi, Kanika. I'm glad you got to tune in this week. I know last week you weren't able to tune in, so it was good to see you. I'm going to take a cup, and we're going to add our rice to the cup. Turn the rice off. We're going to place our rice in the cup. Alrighty. <coughs> Excuse me. We've added our rice to a plastic cup. We're going to take our rice. Actually, I'm going to pat this down just a little bit. Just so we'll get the shape we're looking for. We're going to take our cup and flip it over. So this is what we have so far, ladies and gentlemen. Presentation is everything. So if you're cooking that elegant man, a meal for your anniversary, for Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, presentation is key. Even if it doesn't taste that great, they'll appreciate it because it looks pretty. <laughs> so now we have everything on our plate but our chicken. We're going to go ahead and add our chicken and we can eat. And Kenny Cates will let you get back to your family. I love you guys. Thank you so much. We're going to pull this chicken out of the oven. Remember to use your mitt. Hi, Trina. Thank you for sharing. Thank you guys for sharing. Six shares. But let's see if we can get 100 shares. Let's see if we can get, you know, 50 shares. Sharing and liking is what keeps this going. Um, the more people that can see it, the more people that are blessed with these recipes. So please like, share, guys. We're going to pull this chicken right out of the oven. Make sure to use your mitt. Because I don't always. Woo. Ooh, we got some pretty food here. I won't start singing, but whoa, we got some pretty chicken. OMG. Here we go. Look at that chicken. Come on now. That is absolutely beautiful. And I'm not tooting my own horn. I just like pretty food. <laughs> so 
So I'm going to take my tongs. We're going to put this chicken on our plate. And then my husband and my family can eat. Oh, I wish you could see the back of this chicken. It is so caramely. Oh, it's so beautiful. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see. Oh, can't see it. But it is absolutely beautiful. Guys, you won't be disappointed. Continue to watch me, Case. Continue to tune in. And I'm telling you, your family will thank you. That is beautiful. And we're just plating this up. What I'm going to do now, move that over. And we're going to get ready to eat. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done. I don't know if you can see that. Thank you for, for tuning in to Tasty Tuesdays with Kenny Cakes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you make this meal at home for your family. And please let me know how you enjoyed it. Love you all. You guys have a blessed night. Thank you. Hi, Sheena. Hi, Simone. Hi, Tisha. Thank you all for tuning in. Please like and share the video. If you enjoyed it, if you, you learned something, if you have questions, inbox me if you don't want everybody to know. I have so many people inbox me with questions that I didn't even know I was friends with that watched my video. People are watching, guys. If you have questions and you want answers and you, you want to start cooking, Cooking classes are coming soon. Kenny Cake seasonings are coming soon. Kenny Cakes will be in a couple of stores near you soon. Get ready. God is moving. I am grateful. I have been blessed. And I just want to bless you. Have a good night, guys. I love you. Be blessed.